Thanks again. My name is Brenton Allison. I am the Vice President for Digital Evangelism at Software AG, one of the leading providers of API products in the world. Now, I've worked with APIs for 25 plus years, and I am excited to be able to present to you the keys for turning APIs into a job promotion. A few months ago, I did a presentation on 10 keys for turning APIs into a job promotion. That was only the beginning. Today's talk is where things get real where the rubber meets the road. But for those of you that didn't see that talk, let me see if there's someone here that can give us a quick recap. Anyone? Ah, I think we have a volunteer. The 10 key concepts that you should be able to communicate to your organization and teammates are digital transformation, API first, the API economy, the API integration, full lifecycle API management, API best practices, API security, microservice management, API as a product, and API KPIs. That is correct. Good job. I covered the importance of knowing the language, terminology, and buzzwords that are used by business and analysts so that you can best communicate the business value of your API work and the APIs themselves to your organization and beyond. The theme of part two is creating something extraordinary. For this, I'm going to need you to think out of the box. If you're serious about a job promotion, you will need an extraordinary portfolio. Now, building a portfolio is somewhat easier if you're doing front-end development, mobile development, or have a career field that creates some kind of user interface that use, external users can see. But like most who work in APIs, what you create and do goes unseen by most and is hard to even describe to the rest. Now I'm going to shift your thinking slightly about what a portfolio is and what should be in your portfolio. Your extraordinary portfolio is going to be filled with five extraordinary things that I'm going to show you now. So follow me as we dive into this. Now I'm going to run through these fast because I'm going to run through them a second time, looking at them from a different perspective. Now don't worry, it will all make sense when we get there. The first extraordinary thing that we're going to add to our portfolio is going to seem rather obvious, but it is extraordinary API products. Know the products and tools that you have worked with, such as list the different APIs you have worked on, both internal and external. Are there documented best practices for using these APIs? If so, list these. List the documentation that is available for these APIs. Is there a published schema for these APIs? Be sure to include this. Is there sample code or Postman collection for these APIs? Include both of these. Just like a traditional resume, I want you to list some things related to the work you have done. Unlike a traditional resume, I'm not asking you to create something nice and pretty and only one page. Instead, I want you to focus on the content. Now, if you've gone on an international space exploration mission, I would just go with that. But for the rest of us, here are some things to document. What APIs and products have you worked on or worked with? Who have you worked with? List both teams and individuals, external and internal, to your organization. Take some time to describe the projects you worked on as if you're describing them to a technical person outside of your team. And now, try to describe these projects as if you're talking to a non-technical friend. Write all of this down. If you're not already familiar with API security, get familiar. Study and know the best practices for using and implementing API security. Document which APIs use these security best practices and which ones still need some help. Know what some of the outlier APIs look like. Frankenstein APIs, zombie APIs, shadow APIs, to name a few. The next extraordinary thing is integrations. Document how the APIs you've worked on integrate with other internal APIs. Document how the APIs you've worked on integrate with partner APIs. Document how they integrate with third-party APIs. What security is being utilized for all these integrations? How do these products interact with each other? What kind of data is being sent back and forth between API integrations? Know the friction points, the strengths, and the weaknesses of all the integrations used. And last, extraordinary communication. 
For this, I would point you to the recap of part one to this presentation, but to summarize, you need to be able to communicate the business value of your API products to anyone inside or outside of your organization. There aren't just technical and non-technical people. There are a whole range of people in between. You need to know the terminology, language, and yes, buzzwords of how they apply to your work and the work of your team. Another part of good communication is giving credit where credit is due. Don't be afraid to praise your coworkers and teammates for the hard work that they do and to share their successes with others. Now I've just given you five tasks to getting you that job promotion, but what I've also done is turn you into an invaluable resource. Confused? Let's rewind back to the beginning. Now here, I told you to document the different API resources you've worked on and used. APIs, best practices, documentation, open API and Swagger schemas, sample code, and Postman collections. You are now the person with an extraordinary amount of knowledge. You don't have to be an expert on all this, but you do now know what your organization has and possibly what it is missing. Not only this, but you also know where to find all of this. Trust me, this is gold. Next, I had you compile a resume of sorts. I had you compile and describe what products and projects you worked on, what teams or individuals you worked with inside the company, what teams or individuals you worked with outside of the company. You are now also able to describe these products to both technical and non-technical people. Now you have two great things here. The obvious is the description of the products. You are now the one that can quickly describe your products to any audience. Again, I'm not implying that you have to be an expert, but if not, you know who the experts are. The less obvious extraordinary thing here is the people. Who you know is super important. Take that list of people you've worked with inside your organization and grow that. Now do the same for the list of people outside of your organization. Make connections with customers, partners, and peers in your community. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn and add one more to your soon to be exponentially growing network. Next, we went through security. I had you make yourself familiar not only with API security best practices, but also with how these best practices are being applied to your APIs and other products. This is so important, not only for you, but for your organization. If you can help protect and secure your APIs, you will have added extraordinary value to your organization and your career. Next, I had you document your integrations. This, like some of the previous tips, has made you the holder of a rare gem. Knowing what you are integrating with and why can help you and others at your organization to make informed decisions about dependencies, security, resources, and much more. And lastly, we hit on communication. The key was understanding the terminology and language used by different personas for your organization, your clients, your partners, your prospects, your network. You're now able to explain in terms that can be understood why the products you work on are so important, how they add business value to your organization, and frankly, why you should get a promotion. This is not magic. In the end, if you follow these steps and create and execute your extraordinary portfolio, what you really have done is implement the steps required to become an extraordinary API champion at your organization. So work hard, create extraordinary products, and network with others. I encourage you to reach out and connect with me on LinkedIn. You can find me at linkedin.com forward slash Brenton House. Also, check out some of our most recent YouTube API video series that we are producing on API security. You can find these videos and more at youtube.com forward slash API shorts. You can also find many more great API resources and products on our Software AG website at softwareag.com. Thank you, and now if you give me just a second, I will see if we have any questions. <laughs>